for our next incredible documentary. Can I please get another word, one word suggestion? This time, uh, I lied. It's not a one word suggestion. Give me the title of a made up documentary that you'd like to see. The Paradox of the Lie. The Paradox of the Lie. Oh, Deep. That's, that's, nice. this, is gonna be, this is gonna be a thinker, guys. Pay attention. <laughs> Um, I, Mom, if I'm being honest, I, I didn't study for my spelling test. Honey, there's a body on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, did I mention the spelling test that I did not, mm -hmm. which means I can't go to school. Um, honey, can you spell dead for me? <laughs> uh, D? Mm-hmm. A? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close, but you know what, honey? I still love you. Um, however, there is a body on our ground. I don't know why there's a body here, but we need to get rid of it. Um, actually, you know, I did study for my, my spelling test, so I should go to school. You got me, sorry. I, I'm trying to get out of this. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I, as a child, can't be controlled. You're gonna hire a babysitter to control me. You're gonna hire this schmuck to control me. You're gonna hire this, you know, this. You, they couldn't get any better than this. My daughter started out just the sweetest girl you could ever imagine. We even named her Honey. She was so sweet. Unfortunately, <laughs> when we sent her to school, things started to change. She didn't know how to spell, and it frustrated her. And I, I'm not saying, you know, I don't want to say she did anything, but I'm worried about my daughter. Uh, 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 honey, 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 um, I don't want to go to jail. Okay, I don't either. Uh, okay. So what are you going to do about this, Mom? Hmm? Uh, what are you going to do? I think, number one, uh, you should probably turn the cameras off. Um, honey, you're scaring me now. Not everything needs to be for YouTube. How am I supposed to get famous? Um, how am I supposed to get views? How am I supposed to get the appreciation of my peers? I know how. There's this whole documentary, it's called Spellbound, and it's about the spelling bee. And maybe you could be on the next one in the spelling bee. Yeah, I didn't think so either. The, the new YouTube challenge, that was the murder challenge, it went viral, and in an unfortunate way. Uh, I don't think I need to go into detail of the challenge, it's pretty, it's pretty it's what it says on the 10, but uh, here, here, here at the FBI, uh, we noted some 12,000 casualties, all uploaded to YouTube, all with millions of likes, it, it was a problem. All right, honey. We're gonna new, learn a new lesson right now. This right here is a shovel. You're gonna dig a hole. I'm gonna get the hydrochloric acid. <laughs> All right. We gotta handle this. Twenty twenty four. A pretty insane year is filled with TikTok dances, crazy trends, go-go boots coming back. But one stood out more than anything else. The murders, the YouTube murders. <laughs> Across the country, kids were killing babysitters just for the views and the fame. Absolutely insane, parents even got involved. <laughs> We're going to explore this today and like, subscribe, or die. <laughs> the documentary! Doctor.
Dr. Ted Tedson, uh, <coughs> doctor of psychology, and I gotta say, watching this video back, you can tell he's really afraid. <laughs> he's tied up. He, this, is not a, this is not a joke in his mind. Now let's shift over to suspect number one over here. If you see him right there, you can tell that those eyebrows are raised. And you can see the eyes are looking a little out. That is a number one indication that he's got something going on in his head. Thoughts. And he's gonna use those thoughts. Yeah, that's all I know about it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! We got your standard butcher knife here! <laughs> but he said fuck in between, and by a code, I'm not allowed to intervene when that happens. <laughs> so, yeah, don't come after me. It wasn't my fault. Take it up with the big guy. All right, so before we, before we get started, uh, just so you know, 90% of the people who watch my videos don't actually subscribe for when I'm uh, So we hit the bell, subscribe when we get a new victim coming. So first, we're going to do a nice little incision right in the Maria, come look at this. It seems there's a murder happening on the screen right in front of us. And now we're going to get the whole one of those straight to the night of the wind. They play the long side. Think about the paradox of the lie. 
That's my only hit. Come on, Kyle. Dig deep. You got this, buddy. <laughs> left. Left. The left door. The left door. Are you hell? Am I? <laughs> Are you? What did you like to know? I'm coaching you. I think you should go through the left door. I'm asking it. Oh my god, I like the right door. <laughs> like, what if you came to me? No, like, don't listen to the left. I'm to the right. right. Are you hell? No, right, right doesn't mean wrong. Right means right. Oh my god, silly Billy. Get in here, <laughs> idiot. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I talked to God before, and I said, hey, I think there should be an easier way. Like, what happened to St. Peter with the book? Um, but he just sent me back out of order. Try again. So uh, I just let the door thing happen, and I think it's fun. <laughs> Paradox of what? Paradox of what? Listen, like, I wouldn't lie to you. I'm a door. I'm, like, I'm the mahogany. That's the lying door. You know what I'm Kyle, just go through the left door right now! Right now! Yeah, he You're said, the paradox of the world. He said right! Oh my god! It's you, man! Yeah! <laughs> Open this door! I'm gonna do it! Welcome to hell! Welcome to hell! Welcome to hell! Welcome to hell. Yeah. Kyle! Kyle Smith! What the hell? <laughs> yeah, so What's that mean? <laughs> Kyle, buddy! You a little hot in here? The paradox of lie was bullshit. It meant nothing. Yeah, you just, right, you just go through it. Yeah, it's okay. So listen, it's like a lot of fun here. It's like a little bit torture, but like otherwise, it's like you got a horrible death. This is actually way better than that. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing is, like, we only have like generic sodas. We don't have like Coke. We have like it's called like Professor Fizz. It's fine. Jesus Christ! Just do it again. <laughs> just do it again. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. documentary being made, uh, um, you know, it's kind of wild to think about that there were YouTube murders and now it's a whole theological debate going on. Um, here's the thing, um, I've put together a little bit of a slideshow of just kind of what's been going on and some thoughts and beliefs and things that are happening. So uh, in our first slide, this is a sad person. They're sad. They want to be happy. In the next slide, <laughs> we have Jesus. And Jesus is the way. And then the next slide. <laughs> Love. However, next slide is what can go wrong. <laughs> The YouTube murders. <laughs> yes, that's right, I am here to say that the YouTube murders are killing Jesus. And it's not in the crucifixion way this time. <sighs> Something must be done with these children. The FBI should be involved. And the guardian angels, who knows where they are. Anyway, thank you for your time. God bless you. What's up, Kyle? I'm here with Jesus! <laughs> we got the Savior on the ghetto! Gonna get some pogs in the chat for our Lord and Savior, Jesus and Christ! <laughs> Dad, not again, please! So we got your classic crown of thorns! <laughs> this is a right stamp project our sponsor, Adam and Eve! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I heard. Adam and Eve sponsored this. Everyone forget.
forgets about Steve. Everybody forgets about Steve. It's always Adam and Eve. Never Adam and Steve. We had something special too. It was magical. <laughs> So, guardian angelship. Uh, I can, um, I, uh, I would like to hand in my reputation. You want to fall? I do want to fall. Yeah. And, um, I think I should be somewhere where I belong. Maybe like, you know, purgatory. I think I think purge is probably pretty good. Purge. I can see myself in purge. All right. Uh, so this door leads you to purgatory. Oh. Or is it? Or is it? This one? Well, it leads you to reincarnation. Oh. Hey, that one's real, actually. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, you just gotta pick one. Yeah, right door, no problem. Reincarnation. <laughs> I don't know which one tells the truth, lie, whatever. That, I don't even know if they, one of them tells we all the lies the truth. We both tell the truth, I'm just saying. It's deal or no deal this time. They're both pretty chill. Kirk's pretty cool. Um, which Kirk's no. Where's um? Uh, which one has uh, Professor Fizz? We only have uh, sparkling water. Is it like Lacroix or is it? No, like... it's the Perrier. We <laughs> like, got we got ten seconds left. Okay, well, what kind of water you got? Real fast. What kind of water you got? Uh, we, we have one hundred percent real Dr. Pepper. Five more seconds. <laughs> oh, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, what's up? Where? Welcome to reincarnation. Oh, it was real. Yeah, you're a bug now. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little. <laughs> <laughs>